What is C++? C++ is a general-purpose multi-paradigm, high-level programming language. It supports both procedural and object-oriented programming. C++ is a superset of C language C cannot run C++ code. It is one of the most popular programming languages for creating large-scale applications. What are the differences between C and C++? C programming language C was developed by Dennis Ritchie between 1969-1973 at AT&T Bell Labs. C is a subset of C++. C is a procedural programming language. C doesn't support function and operator overloading. C doesn't support reference variables. C doesn't support exception handling. C doesn't have namespace feature. C doesn't support virtual and friend function. C++ Programming Language C++ was developed by Bjorn Strustrup in 1979. C++ is superset of C, but C cannot run C++ code. C++ is procedural and object-oriented programming language. C++ supports function and operator overloading. C++ supports reference variables. C++ supports exception handling. C++ uses namespace. C++ supports virtual and friend function. What are the OOPs concepts? Object-oriented programming OOP. Object and class. Inheritance. Encapsulation. Abstraction. Polymorphism. What is a class? A class is a user-defined data type which has data members and member functions. A class is defined in C++ using keyword class followed by the name of class. What is object? An object is an instance of a class. When class is defined, only the specification for the object is defined, no memory or storage is allocated. What is friend class? Class members can gain accessibility over other class member by placing class declaration prefixed with the keyword friend in the destination class. Can you explain storage classes? Storage class are used to specify the visibility, scope and lifetime of symbols functions and variables. That means, storage classes specify where all variable or function can be accessed and till what time those variables will be available during the execution of program. What is token? A C++ program consists of various tokens and a token is either a keyword, an identifier, a string literal, or a symbol, a constant. What is recursion? A function that calls itself is known as recursive function, this is also known as recursion. What is function overriding? Function overriding is a way to implement polymorphism. Function overriding is a language feature that allows a subclass or child class to provide a specific implementation of a method that is already provided by one of its superclasses or parent classes. What is virtual function? A virtual function is a member function in base class that you expect to redefine in derived classes. What is volatile variable? Variables prefixed with the keyword volatile acts as a data type qualifier. The volatile keyword attempts to alter the default way in which the variables are stored and the way the compiler handles the variables. What are pointers? Pointers are special type of variables that are used to store the memory address of the other variables. Pointers are declared normal as other variables with difference of that is present in front of the pointer identifier. What is no pointer? No pointer is not the uninitialized pointer that can point anywhere. The no pointers are the one which do not point anywhere that is which do not point to any object or any function. What is enumeration? An enumeration is a user-defined data type that consists of integral constants. To define an enumeration, keyword enum is used. What are structures and unions? While handling real-world problems we come across situations when we want to use different data type as one. C allows the user to define its own data type known as structures and unions. Structures and unions gathers together different atoms of information are that comprise a given entity. What is inheritance? Inheritance provides reusability. Reusability means that one can use the functionalities of the existing class. 
It eliminates the redundancy of code. Inheritance is a technique of deriving a new class from the old class. The old class is known as the base class, and the new class is known as derived class. What is encapsulation? Encapsulation is a process of combining data members and functions in a single unit called class. What is abstraction? Abstraction is a one of the technique of showing only essential details without representing the implementation of details. If the members are defined with a public keyword, then the members are accessible outside also. If the members are defined with a private keyword, then the members are not accessible by the outside methods. What is data binding? Data binding is a process of binding the application UI and business logic. Any change made in the business logic will reflect directly to the application UI. What is polymorphism? Polymorphism means multiple forms. It means having more than one function with the same name but with different functionalities. Polymorphism is of two types. Static polymorphism is also known as early binding. Dynamic polymorphism is also known as late binding. What is pure virtual function? A pure virtual function is a member function in which the base class forces the derived classes to override. Normally this member function has no implementation. Pure virtual functions are equated to zero. What is a copy constructor? It is the constructor which takes the same class object as the parameter. It gets automatically invoked as soon as the object is initialized with another object of the same class. Explain, how should runtime errors be handled in C++? The runtime errors in C++ can be handled using exceptions. This exception handling mechanism in C++ is developed to handle the errors in software made up of independently developed components operating in one process and under synchronous control. According to C++, any routine that does not fulfill its promise throws an exception. The caller who knows the way to handle these exceptions. Where are setjump and longjump used in C++? Setjump and longjump should not be used in C++. Long jump jumps out of the function without unwinding the stack. This means that the local objects generated are not destructed properly. The better option is to use try slash catch slash throw instead. They properly destruct the local objects. Can you explain one definition rule, ODR? According to ODR, C++ constructs must be identically defined in every compilation unit they are used in. As per ODR, Two definitions contained in different source files are called to be identically defined if they token for token identical. The token should have same meaning in both source files. Identically defined doesn't mean character by character equivalence. Two definitions can have different white space or comments and yet be identical. What is namespace? Namespaces are used to group entities like classes, objects and functions under a name. What are public? protected, private and C++. These are three access specifiers in C++. Public, here the data members and functions are accessible outside the class. Protected, data members and functions are available to derived classes only. Private, data members and functions are not accessible outside the class. How would you find out if a linked list is a cycle or not? We can find out if the linked list is not a cycle by using two pointers. One of them goes two nodes every time while the second one goes at one node each time. If there's a cycle, the one that goes two nodes each time will meet the one that goes slower. If this happens, you can say that the linked list is a cycle else not. What is SDL? SDL stands for Standard Templin Library. It is a library of container templates approved by the ANSI committee for inclusion in the standard C++ specification. What is stack unwinding? Stack unwinding is a process during exception handling when the destructor is called for all local objects between the place where the exception was thrown and where it is caught. What is copy constructor? It is a constructor which initializes its object member variable with another object of the same class. If you don't implement the copy constructor in your class, the compiler automatically does it. What is a PDB file? 
A program database, PDB, file contains debugging and project state information that allows incremental linking of a debug configuration of the program. This file is created when you compile a C C++ program with slash Z or slash Z or a Visual Basic slash C hash slash script. Net program with slash debug. What is dangling pointer? When the address of an object is used after its lifetime is over, dangling pointer comes into existence. Some examples of such situations are returning the addresses of the automatic variables from a function or using the address of the memory block after it is freed, like share and comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.